What's up, guys? So I'm out here uh, doing a little traveling, having a fun time with the uh, the family. Just a quick two-day trip to Knobles Park. But anyway, I wanted to do a video just showing uh, this bag and this setup. I've actually really, really enjoyed this bag. This is the third time I've used this on any kind of trip. This is from a crate club. You guys probably remember the bag, but more specifically, I want to talk about the Hero Clip. All right, so I have a couple of these. Uh, I think this is a smaller one of the two. This it gets so much use um, when I'm out and about, especially at something like a theme park, because there's not a lot of whole, you know places to really just hang your bag. It's not like there's hooks everywhere. So using this Hero Clip, and actually, if you haven't seen this before, it's hard to do with one hand, but this whole part here unhooks so that you can hang this bag on anything. And it doesn't have to have a spot to actually hang over there. You could just put this tip uh, on any surface that's flat and then hang it like that. Now, I wouldn't hang it like off of where it's connected right now. I'd hang it to the top strap because that's obviously where there's more strength. But I have this on here because this actually keeps the zipper shut on this bag. All right, so if I take this off of here, you can see how this one works. There's a pocket on top, which I really like, just quick access to money and tickets and a bandana, you know, if I'm sweating, all kinds of stuff like that right on top. Then we have the side pockets here. I have a pen. I have a write in the rain pad with all my schedule, all the stuff I want to do. All right, I have extra room in there to put stuff on the other side. This actually, well, let me show you the big pocket here. All right. This kind of splits open down the middle. All right. These zippers go off to the side, but it's awkward doing one hand, especially with holding stuff. But you see this thing splits open like a rib cage or something. All right, there's a spot in the back for a bladder. If you want to run a uh, hydration bladder, I chose not to because I prefer the Yeti on the side pocket. It's just a lot easier. I just, it's just something that I would like a lot more than having the uh, the actual bladder pack. And the reason for that is because the bladder is great for water, but this holds ice for more than 24 hours. And I might want to switch out the drink. So if I want water, it's fine. I can always, you know, you know, finish the water. I, I put in uh, iced tea and lemonade, just water down a little bit, just if I want something with a flavor. But I wouldn't put that in a regular hydration pack normally. But I mean, the pack's absolutely awesome. There's all kinds of inside pockets. Carry poncho and like a towel in case you get wet. Um, there's another one on the other side. I mean, it's just an awesome bag. I just all right, real quick, just want to show you the other side of the bag here too. I have an Olight i1R2 Pro. This is the uh, US flag uh, version. You guys saw this on a video. I have that hanging at all times. Didn't get any use because it was during the day. Uh, but you just never know when you want some lighting. So that's always there. And I can't speak highly enough of walkie-talkies. I got these walkie-talkies. These are Midland ones in one of those um, you know, monthly clubs. I use it all the time with Christina. I use it when we're on uh, you know, private property. And specifically, when we go on trips like this, we you know have some other family members. They want to split off, go do something else. We literally talk back and forth. It is literally life changing if you go with a bunch of people, any event, anywhere. You got to have walkie talkies. All right, instead of trying to use your cell phone and hope you have service, this is just awesome. You know, you're good to go. But uh, anyway, also I want to mention with this pack, this also does have the the frame. All right, that sits off the back. It was in the high 80s. It was very humid, extremely sweaty, extremely hot. This pack definitely felt a lot cooler. Very padded on the back here, which is really nice. I did use the, the belt strap when it was on, as well as the one that goes across the chest. Um, the reason for that was just to support more of the weight uh, from the actual pack. So it was just nice. It felt snug on me, but comfortable. So yeah, and here's the chest one. I was looking for that. I don't know why I thought it was up here, because this is usually like this up in my shoulders. But yeah, so between the uh, the chest being snugged up and the waistband, the padding, I mean, it was just really nice. It really, really worked out. A lot of times uh, I used to use um, you know, like a Jansport type backpack when I traveled, but uh, I have to say this has blown it out of the water for a lot of different reasons. I'll show you real quick too. I also been using this for years as a Maxpedition um, suitcase. And I've literally used this for probably eight years. Absolutely love it. Works just as good as the first day I got it. So anyway, that's all just a quick little gear check, I guess, on vacation here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.